Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Andro from Syndicato channel and today I will show you a little tutorial how to rent a dedicated server on gportal.com. Portal, G -portal so this is basically a portal where you can rent a server for uh, a very uh, different type of games and a lot of games and I will show you how to rent a server for farming simulator because that's what we play here and let's just go to gportal g dash uh, portal dot com uh, and let's enter the site here you can see it right up here here is a farming simulator 19 and first you have to log in or sign up you can log in with facebook with google with twitch or you can create a separate account on gportal so uh, you can do that by clicking down here and fill up this uh, form but I already have an account so I will just sign in with my oops, with my cynical username and here are your servers this is my server I already have one as you may know and uh, right so uh, Here's the thing, you can click on serve FS19 and click order now, then you have many options to choose from. First you have slots uh, and that's basically how many players uh, you will have in your um, farming simulator uh, multiplayer game uh, that you will create uh, by, by this. Uh, I think the maximum capacity is 18 for farming simulator or 14, 18, I think that's 18. Uh, so let's just stick with 4 for now. And then the duration for how long uh, you would like to rent your server. And the default value, value is 30 days and you can expand that to 1 year and it will get you a discount of 20%. So you can choose that. and the location of the server uh, you can either have uh, Europe uh, which is in Frankfurt or London in England and then you have the payment options uh, you can pay with uh, debit card or credit card no just credit card let's uh, yes Visa American Express MasterCard or PaySafe card or support Uber Visung or <laughs> PayPal uh, I always use PayPal in that situations because it's uh, very secure and it's it works very uh, uh, very easy and uh, and quick so for me that's the best option uh, okay then you click continue and all you have to do now is pay or uh, and agree to the terms and conditions and then when you have the server uh, okay let's go I understood the cookies and go back to my servers and you can see it's online the server is online and right okay um, then you have to click on the web interface which will lead you up to um, farming simulator web interface for dedicated servers and let's just click that right so my server is online as you can see and those are the informations that you have to uh, fill up so okay i will just stop the server for now uh, that's the server name which will appear in your uh, search in the multiplayer where, where you will be searching for servers uh, where when you are in the game that's admin password that's not the, the I, I shouldn't actually show you that but okay here we are now uh, the game password is Senikadu as you may know from um, uh, the, the past uh, when I uh, was doing uh, streaming uh, those are all the empty slots for your save games um, and here you can choose the, the maps uh, the Ravenport and Felsbrun is uh, those are the original maps and the blank map is my under the hill map which uh, you I uploaded uh, uh, to the 
uh, to the farming simulator uh, here on the server so you can you can you can upload the mods uh, those are all the mods that I have in my uh, in my server for now um, you can also choose the matchmaking server uh, you are very familiar with this um, if you ever played uh, online farming simulator so the save interval uh, 180 minutes on default but you can change that to let's say five minutes if you don't want to lose the the progress in the game uh, so uh, that's very useful uh, the modes okay here are the modes that I have those are um, my s what, what, what seven modes that I have yes seven modes um, and uh, you can you can basically upload uh, or activate all the mods that are on ModHub, which is official farming simulator, uh, let's say portal for the mods. And those are all the mods that are available on the ModHub. And then you can upload the mods uh, that aren't on ModHub. So basically, you just click on it on the mods folder like I, I just did here for EMT Cyclone uh, so you can upload that and that's basically it um, all you have to do that uh, uh, then is start the server uh, activate the mods here let's say all or none uh, and uh, just start the game and that's that you can then find it on uh, on the international under the game server name Senikadu and you can join by typing the password in and there you are that's all the information you need and hopefully this video was helpful for you and thank you for watching many more videos are coming up so stay tuned and thank you for watching my channel and bye bye